Hey, John again, playing Immaculate Grid, going for grid number 77 uh, today, which is the career wins above replacement for Mr. Robin Yount, the all-time uh, greatest player for the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, you know, my dad's favorite player. Um, I only got to experience, but if I experienced him at all, it was uh, it was four years and uh, younger, but we did go to his Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I've got like three or four bobbleheads in this uh, in this room of Mr. Robin Yount. Uh, he shares that war figure with uh, Ozzie Smith and uh, Luke Appling. So three shortstops there, including the uh, the best defensive shortstop of all time. And one of the first like really great uh, American League uh, shortstops in Luke Appling. Obviously, Honus Wagner um, dominated the National League in the dead ball era. But uh, Luke Appling is, uh, you know, when you look at the uh, AL shortstops in the first half of uh, the 20th century, he's he's probably right up there. So let's uh let's get into it. Let's play grid number seventy seven for Rob Neout, Ozzy Smith, and Luke Appling. Bring up the screen. And away we go. So we'll just do that. Hit enter, hit go, and away we go. All right. Um man, Vinny Castilla hits these teams, I think. Off to a roaring start. Andres Galarraga hits these teams. And let's get uh, Jeff Cirillo. Cool. Um, Jim Tomey works. 7%. Um, let's see. I believe Delino de Shields. Over here we'll go Jim Wynn. All right, 200 hits in a season, Altuve a number of times. Um, Pujols once at least. And let's get Carew. All right, 56 seconds. I think I went with the most... Oh, wow, there's only been two? I feel like it's got to be Biggio. Let's make that one through. Uh, let's see, so we got Altuve... Got Pujols, Puckett actually edged Carew. Molitor will also work there. He was the guy for the previous grid. I might try to sneak him in. Joey Gallo leading the way there. Justin Morneau, thirty-nine percent. He won a batting title in Colorado. Forty-two percent for Mike Hampton. Daryl uh, Kyle would also work here. So I let my uh, I was I was a little focused in the nineties a bit. Point nine on uh, Jeff Cirillo there. All right, so let's uh, we'll stop share and reshare, and let's find that uh, this one, I guess. Hit seventy seven, and let's try to do this again. Um, this will definitely be. These are both Octavio Dotel. Uh, combos. This is actually a, a Dick Allen. Uh, so that could work. Uh, this is a Franklin Stubbs. Um, we're going to start, though. But we go. Black and white. Hanny Manish. Point four. Uh, let's see. But we go Ducky Medwick. Pretty sure on this one. I recall him having in his triple crown year having like a 370 batting average and a 415 on base, which should translate to a whole bunch of hits. So let's go with him. 1% for Ducky Medwick. I, I think it's Biggio, but I'll, uh, I'll let that one fester for a little bit. I'll I'll try to get the others and we'll have a suspenseful moment at the end. Um, let's see. I went to line to Shields was an interesting pick. I could have gone with Pujols on that one. Um that's Brooklyn Dodgers. Anyone coming to mind? Uh no one's roaring to mind. I don't know why I did go with like Arenado here. I feel like he would have been a better choice. Daryl Kyle does work. Um, 
Doors for both of these. Rest in peace, Daryl. Um, the hotel does work. Not going to get Jeremy Burnitz on any of these. Um, yeah, I think I will go with uh, Franklin Stubbs here. For point four. And then Rocky, let's see, Rockies and Cardinals. Yeah, I went with Colorado, played a year with the Cardinals. Um Larry Walker will work as well. Arenado works. Um Daryl Kyle works. Dotel works. Um Ron Gant will work. I think that's a semi sneaky one. Point two. Um, I don't remember if Dotel works for the Dodgers or not. Um Oh, you know who works is Jamie Wright. I should use him a lot more. Point oh four there. Could have used him over here. Um, let's see. No, Henry Blanco, who was actually traded for Cirillo. Um, when the Brewers traded Cirillo away in uh I guess it was before the two thousand season. They got Blanco in return. Among others. And Jamie Wright. So I could get all the people for this trade. Jimmy Haynes was in there somehow. Scott Carl went to the A's. I, it was a whole thing. All right. He goes sub one. Get Otis Nixon in here. He's point two. And then. So I'm at one, two. I'm rocking about a three right now. Totel is usually around a two. <laughs> um, he's not. I guess he's more known for the Astros. Like he, Billy Wagner left. Dotel kind of inherited the closer role, but he was, as I recall, this is about the 04 season. Um, and he was doing all right, but Lidge was showing a lot of potential. They trade Dotel in a three way deal that brings uh, Beltron to Houston uh, for the second half of the 04 season. Beltron hits, ends up with. Uh, just going crazy and he's 23 home runs in like half a season almost a 40-40 season Dotel finishes out the year in Oakland none of that's particularly helpful right now uh, Daryl Kyle is a name I've mentioned um, let's see this is, uh, this is not an Ellis Burks team I've already gone with I don't think Nephew Perez is going to work here. I don't think there's a Mike Lansing combo or an Eric Young combo. Uh, not a Galarraga combo. Um, I think other catchers. This is not a Charles Johnson did not play for this team. Yeah, maybe we just throw Dotel in there. 6%. Wow, that was a lot higher than... I should have I should have held out try to come up with something better. Uh no one's springing to mind, but I'm sure they're out there. Anyway, let's close out with uh my guess is Biggio in ninety seven. Let's see how that does. Did I get the year right? He accounted for about ninety percent. And I was off by one year. Nine, 97, he had 146 runs scored, which is a crazy high number. But yeah, 98, yeah, he had a much better batting average. 210 hits, 51 doubles. He was so good. He was so good in the 90s. All right. Well, I'll I'll take that. I mean, that, that was uh, the best choice I could have done there. So with uh, with Biggio, could have done a lot better on this one. Where are some better Rocky Astros? Sixty three options. I mentioned Castilla, Finley. I knew I could have come up with Finley. Um, 
Troy Hawkins on there. Kurt Manwaring. I think I did know Kurt Manwaring would work. It's one of those Greg Zahn combos. Ron Valone I should have gotten. I know Ron Valone pretty well. All right. Well, I will call it there. Thank you so much for playing. Grid number 77 with me. And I'll be back at it probably tomorrow. All right now. Peace.